The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the functionality of our PLC-based temperature controller with the PID algorithm. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to inform you about all the great content I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes topics related to industrial automation, PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments and projects. My name is Said Reza Fattazadeh and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to receive the latest and greatest content I will be posting through the channel. Please be informed that by clicking on the join button and paying a small monthly fee for as long as you want to continue, you can become a channel member to get access to cool perks such as to have access to my exclusive videos, WhatsApp support number and access to PLC control program codes existing in my YouTube channel. I will add more or edit these in the future and do my best to not to disappoint you and create these hard-hitting tutorials and content that you all like but I am still growing and I am expanding the channel as well. At the end of the day I still appreciate your support and consideration. The project overview. The primary focus of the project is to design and to implement a temperature controller system based on the complex proportional integral derivative PID algorithm to maintain the temperature of a dying machine based on four different predefined time temperature tables that uses a closed loop process control to maintain set points from 25 to 100 degrees of Celsius to control the temperature of a hypothetical dying machine. In this project, I am using an electrical heater which is run off a solid state relay that is triggered by an output from a Siemens Simatic S7 300 PLC to control the temperature of the water in the container based on four different time temperature tables called F1 to F4. Figure 1 displays the parameters related to F1 in eight steps and its related curve on the right side. The hardware construction of this controller system is consisted of the following items. One Siemens Simatic S7 300 PLC with all of its related digital and analog IOs as the main project controller. Two solid state relays, each is rated for 25 amps to make sure they can handle the load from a 220 VAC heating element. One PT100 sensor which is submerged in the half barrel size which contains water. One 3000 watt heater. One mechanical thermometer. One HMI display device. One PC with LCD display. Three control programs are integrated for this project to enable an operator to monitor, control, and edit any process parameter with either an HMI or a PC computer. Both of these monitoring devices can be used in parallel and the PCs monitor functions based on Siemens Simatic WinCC platform. The monitoring, setting, or editing of different parameters of the controller can be done on a PC's monitor or on an HMI display device.
The controller has two main modes of operation and an operator can select to use the controller system in either manual or automatic mode by just tapping on the auto manual icon. On the manual mode, an operator can turn either SSRs on or off to decrease or increase temperature, edit any data related to any of the four functions or PID parameters such as the gain, proportional, integral, derivative terms. To edit any of the parameters, an operator has to log in into the system by tapping on the related icons to either the HMI or PC's monitor. Notice that on the automatic mode, the controller system uses error equation to calculate an error value to determine to either turn on the SSR1 or SSR2 to increase or decrease the temperature respectively. Error value is equal to E equal to SP minus PV. On the manual mode, an operator can turn either SSR1 or SSR2 on or off, but he cannot turn both of them on or off at the same time. As it was mentioned earlier, all activities related to the HMI device can also be performed on the operator's PC monitor as well. But in that case, an operator can view the SP versus PV curves on his monitor as well. Viewing the related curves is not available on the HMI device. Error value is equal to E is equal to SP minus PV equal to 48.70 minus 49.30 which is equal to minus 0 0.60. Minus E means SSR2 has to be turned on. Plus E means SSR1 has to be turned on. As it was mentioned earlier, all activities related to the HMI device can also be performed on the operator's PC monitor as well. But in that case, an operator can view the SP versus PV curves on his monitor as well. Viewing the related curves is not available on the HMI device. To learn more about this project, you may purchase the related PDF from www.plcgoods.com site. The PDF comes with 112 pages, which gives you a clear explanation of all circuit diagrams and main control PLC software related to the project. The PDF comes with the following control PLC software. One, the main PLC control software prepared for Siemens. Simatic S7 300 PLC. 
Two, the software prepared to control the HMI display. Three, the control software prepared to integrate Sematic WinCC software. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then click on subscribe and like buttons below and share it with your friends. Also tell us your opinion on this video in the comment section below.